Hi everyone, Michelle Fix It here. <laughs> if you guys want to know what happens if you take your fuel pump relay and fuel pump uh, fuse out of your 2006 Chevy Trailblazer, this is what happens. All you get is electronic noises. That's it. So I'm going. <laughs> I've had some rather insistent <laughs> talking about this and uh, so I've already popped the hood let's see <laughs> oh goodness let's see what happens whenever we decide to change that up a little bit all right so so relay and fuse are out Zena hit me. We're going to put relay back in. And now we're going to see what happens. What happens now? Same thing happens. So you put the relay in. You still get no noise. Just, just electronic clickies. That's it. So I'm going to take the relay out. I'm gonna let you guys sit here. I'm gonna take the relay out and then I'm going to put the fuse in. So now we have a fuse, but no relay. So is that what you want? So if you have your, your relays out or your relays bad and your this is a good diagnostic video for someone, if your fuse and your relay are both bad, then you will get just electronic noises, no trying to turn over or anything. If your relay is out or bad, then you get this noise if the fuse is good. is trying. <laughs> uh, so hopefully this video helps you <laughs> if you need to get, if you need to figure out which one is causing the issue. And for posterity's sake, I'm going to put the relay back in and we're going to do a crank up in T2, which is the 2006 Chevy Trailblazer, first generation. I may have put that relay in wrong. I hope so, because I'm gonna be really mad if I mess something up doing this video. I flipped it. <laughs> You're gonna make my husband cat mad at me. Oh, it could be that the battery is just almost dead. Maybe this has nothing to do with you guys.
Have a great day. Like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a how to check your battery video. Stay tuned for the next video.